Now, more than a billion pounds is paid each year to management companies who maintain and repair properties with communal areas such as blocks of flats. But some residents say they're paying high service fees and not getting value for money. Well, now even the industry's own governing body is calling for more regulation. Mark Chick is from the Association of Leasehold Enfranchisement Practitioners and is also a property lawyer. Morning to you, Mark. Good morning. Um, so just tell me, these people, exactly what do they do? They manage large properties, do Yes, they? that's their job. I mean, their job is to manage on behalf of the landlord, who's the owner of the property, the freehold owner, and um, they, they levy the service charge as agent on behalf of the, 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 uh, the landlord. Um, and pass that on to the end user, who is, of course, the, the long lease hold tenant, okay, the flat and owner. What we've seen in, in our report, at least, is thousands of pounds being paid out mm. and actually nothing being done. Is that common? Um, I think you'll find there's a degree of dissatisfaction um, with residential long lease holders generally about the standard of management. I mean, it's, it varies across the board. Um, there are good managing agents, there are bad managing agents. And I think the central question that people have been asking um, uh, you know, in, in your earlier article mm. is, should there be regulation? I think generally, I mean, we're, I'm from ALEP, the Association of Leasehold Enfranchisement Practitioners. I'm also a solicitor at Bishop and Saul specialising in, in property matters. Yes. Um, we do, we've seen an upturn in the last six months of people complaining about service charges, definitely. So, okay, so what do you think it should, should there be more regulation? Is that what you think is the well, answer? Well, it's a difficult question because I think regulation, I mean, service charges themselves are actually subject to a myriad of statutory controls and uh, therefore people have a, you know, a lot of redress. They can take the actual size and um, level of the charges to something called the Leasehold Valuation Tribunal right. where these can be assessed. But the actual agents themselves, the people acting on behalf of the landlord in levying the charges, are not regulated. Right. And, and it probably would be a good idea, given the amount of money um, that they handle on behalf of other people, that, that they were. And, and presumably a lot of this happens because, you know, a large block of flats, everybody would have to get, to get together, what, to agree to go ahead to do a tribunal and all the rest of it. Yes, I mean, for, for, for long residential leaseholders, it's similarly if they want to buy their freehold or, or uh, take other collective actions such as the right to manage, whereby they could take over the management of their property. Mm. Um, they have the ability to access these rights, but they need to act collectively, and there are costs involved in doing that. And similarly with service charges, I mean, one of the things we're seeing is a lot, it's a driving factor in a lot of people coming forward wanting to buy their freehold. It's because they would like to remove the, the, the managing agent from the picture. Management is, in fact, a driving factor in yes. what they're trying to do. So we are seeing you know, an upturn in that. Yeah. Um, is there any choice as well? I mean, as you say, it's, it's quite complicated to change the management company anyway. So what can leaseholders do to help well, themselves? Well, there is the right to manage. You see, there's a no-fault right to manage, which by serving particular notices and going through a statutory procedure, the flat owners can take over the management of their mm. own building. Um, and that's been around now um, since the 2002 Act came out. Um, there is, you know, significant uptake for that. But I mm. think the, the key question really the, the, for, for people um, in terms of um, what your article's been addressing mm. is, is should there actually be regulation of the people actually administering the service on a day-to-day -day basis? Because whilst they might have redress and the ability to go to the leasehold valuation tribunal yeah. to have the, the size of the charges determined, um, you know, admittedly, that, and that may cost them ex um, a, a certain degree of money to go through that process, um, on the day-to-day -day basis, when the people are delivering the service or not delivering the service, there's no one really that they can complain to about those providers. Yes, okay. Um, so okay. I know are. you're here later to talk more about it, but Mark, for the moment, thank you.